Are we live, Sister Susan? Yes, we are, William. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. We greet you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And today, child of God, family, friends, and followers, we have Sister Susan to help me, and we're so glad. Do you know that even St. Peter and St. Paul, uh, they wrote that they needed sisters to help them. Often I try to come to you and minister to you by myself, but when Susan helps me, it's such a wonderful uh, blessing. But let's get right into the word today. Today is the Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Now listen, he was a soldier, a Spanish soldier. He was muscular, he was strong, and oh my, he was good with the ladies. He had so many ladies, the Lord Jesus only knows how many ladies that he uh, ran around with. Until he went to a battle one day called the Battle of Pampaloma. And that is where a cannonball shattered his leg. Well, this Spanish soldier that was so handsome and muscular and strong, such the ladies man, all of a sudden, he couldn't walk. And in that condition, when he couldn't walk, while he was recovering, you know, they brought him a book by one, I can't remember the name, but it was a Carthusian monk about the life of Christ and the lives of the saints. And in that bed, he thought, oh my, I'd rather die. I'm not a man because I can't walk anymore. I can't dance with the beautiful ladies. I can't fornicate with them. I can't commit adultery. I'm a macho man and I'm a soldier. But I can't even walk anymore. What am I going to do? But as he read those books about the life of Jesus and the saints who decided to follow Jesus. Somebody say, I have decided to follow Jesus. Well, he repented of his sins. He got sorry, but he still couldn't walk, you see. But he decided that no matter if he could walk or not, he was going to serve the Lord Jesus and he was going to be a saint. Oh my, I love St. Ignatius of Loyola. In Spanish we say, San Ignacio de Loyola. Hallelujah. Well, on that bed where he almost died, he said, Jesus, I won't be able to walk again, but I'll walk for you. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I have a scripture for you. It's in 1 John, praise the Lord, the 5th chapter. In the 4th verse, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. It took a cannonball to shatter Ignatius' leg. For him to renounce the world, the flesh, and the devil to become Saint Ignatius. I remember when the Apostle Paul uh, got knocked off his horse. The Lord said, "Saul, Saul, why you, why do you keep uh, kicking ag against the thorns?" You know, some of us it took a long time for us to learn to walk. Isn't it true? Well. Some of us are doing our best, praise the Lord, but others of you, do you want a cannonball to shatter your leg? God has a way of getting our attention. And on that bed of affliction, praise the Lord, he cried out to Jesus, forgiveness for all of his sins. Jesus came in and he became Saint Ignatius. Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit order. Praise God. You may be sick and afflicted in your physical body today, but you can be strong in the Lord and say, God, I'm going to walk with you. Now this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Well, 
well, something happened to uh, Loyola, Ignatius Loyola, while he was under. He repented of all of his sins and he confessed and faith came up in his heart. Now this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I'm going to pray for you uh, from the breviary, the prayer for St. Ignatius. Ignatius, oh God, who for spreading the greater glory of thy name, this through blessed Ignatius, strengthen thy church, militant, with a new army. Grant that by his aid and example, we may so fight on earth, so as to merit to be crowned with him in heaven, through Christ our Lord Jesus, who reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our thought number one will surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I thought I could build on love sinking sands. But now I know, Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Oh, somebody talk to Jesus right now. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Cause the mountains too high <laughs> and the valleys too low, oh Lord, down on my knees, I learned to stand because I can't even walk, Lord Jesus, without your holding my hand. We're not going to be long tonight. Maybe there's somebody watching me all across the world and you've made a mess of your life. Maybe you're in that bed of affliction. Jesus wants to talk to you there. Did you know that uh, Jacob, he was wounded in his leg and he was crippled for life. <laughs> but he became a saint of God. Sometimes the cannonball hits us to get our attention because we wouldn't, we wouldn't listen anymore. And everywhere Jacob went, he walked with a limp. Everywhere St. Ignatius of Loyola went. Oh, hallelujah, I'm starting to feel the Holy Ghost. He walked with a limp. You say, Brother Willie, why didn't God heal St. Ignatius? I don't know that. Ask him when you get to heaven. But I do know the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands were one to Jesus because he said yes. One more time. You may not be able to walk physically or you may feel spiritually that you've been so attacked and so tempted that you can't walk. You can call upon his name. Sing it with me. I can't even walk without your hold in my hand. Cause the mountain's too high and the valley is too low, Jesus. And down on my knees, well, that's where I learned to stand because I can't even walk long without you holding my 
can. No, I can't even walk Jesus without your holding my hand. Father, would you touch the day all of my family, friends, and followers? We do honestly and humbly beseech thee. We thank you for this time today, and we feel the Holy Ghost anointing. We speak to everyone that's on the bed of affliction, to everyone, Lord, that's under the grip of the devil. Lord, we command in Jesus' name that they will use this time to turn to thee, to repent of all their sins. And they too shall rise up like St. Ignatius Loyola. You may not ever be what, able to walk in the physical, but you'll be a mighty walker for God, a sprinter, a runner, and you'll win this race. Cause I can't even walk without your hole in my hands. Saint Ignatius, pray for us right now. The mountains too high and the valleys too low, Jesus. Down on my knees. I learn to stand because I can't even walk Jesus without your holding my hand. The Bible says, Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The verse that we read in the beginning said, Who is this that overcomes the world? But he that believeth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This is the victory that overcomes the world. <laughs> Maybe you've fallen tonight and you can't get up. Hey, that's all right. I'll just pick it up. Maybe you've fallen tonight and you can't get up. It's a lie of the devil. Get back up in Jesus' name and take a hold of his hand and he'll help you walk like he helped St. Ignatius of Loyola. Praise the Lord. Praise your Lord. Lord, seal this word we pray by thy spirit. It will give thee the praise for all that thou dost do, all the glory and all of the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Call us, uh, write to us. We'll certainly pray for you. And uh, we also have groups of people that are praying for the needs on this page. You've fallen and you can't walk and you can't get up. This is a word of the Holy Ghost for you. Get back up. You're going to walk again, saith the Lord. Silver and gold have I none. But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. Glory to God. Well, let's bless ourselves now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. We love you. Write to us. Thank you to Sister Susan for uh, taking this video recording. We love you today. Bye-bye now. This is Brother Willie in Houston, Texas, saying that everything that have breath, praise the Lord.